what you sew with co. So in today's episode, we're gonna do crock pot chili. So I didn't get this recipe from anywhere. I'm gonna try to make it up myself. I'm like totally obsessed with my freaking crock pot. So I'm just gonna try to put some stuff in there and make some chili and see how it goes. Anyways, um, welcome back. Super excited to have you back with me. Um, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel or if you're an existing person to the channel, if, well, I guess it would be if you're new to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below, hit the big red subscribe. Also hit the bell so you can get notified every time I post future episodes. My gosh, it's so hot here. So hot in Vegas. Got the AC blowing, I'm still hot. Anyways, all right, so okay let's guys, so like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I've never made crock pot chili. I don't, I think I made like homemade chili a couple times, but anyways, I never made crock pot chili. So I'm literally just making up stuff. So these are the ingredients I think we're gonna use. So we'll see how much this all fits into the crock pot and we might need to adjust, but here's what we're looking at. We'll see how much that all makes. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is chop up the stuff that needs to be chopped up for the juicer. The juicer. I didn't mean to say juicer, I meant to say crock pot. Okay, right, so we're gonna use this fancy dicer thing that my mom got me, which this thing's awesome, but what a pain in the ass to clean. Super annoying. Yeah, and I know, mom, it has the little brush thing, but it's still irritating, so. My eyes are already starting to water, okay. So I use this little one. I don't know what I was supposed to use, so I just use this. This thing is hard to push. Ooh. Oh man, my eyes are watering. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to take a break. Ugh, I thought the point of that chopper was to not have your eyes water. I don't know if I should leave the seeds. You know, and I better take the seeds off because they will worse. acts weird sometimes when you try to push down on stuff. Ugh. Okay, I think that's enough for the chopping. I don't think we need to chop anything else. Let's pour those in there. Okay. I have like this whole this whole spinach, like the whole the whole leaves. So I don't know how much I'm gonna put in that. Let me rinse it. You know how spinach is. You put a bunch in there and then like, after it's cooked, there's like none. So I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of leaves in there. I don't know if that's too many leaves, but like I said, spinach like goes away fast, so. Okay, well now it's time to freak my cats out so that they think that they're getting a treat because I didn't hear that can open. Here they come. No, Gino. It's mommy's chili. It's mommy's chili. It's not for you. I don't know if you're supposed to put the juices in here. I don't know. So I'm just going to dump a whole can in there with juice and everything. I don't know if that's right, but... That actually looks gross. So probably should just take the juice out, but I don't know what I'm doing, you guys, like I said. No, these are, it's mommy's chili. Gino, it's mommy's. 
He's irritated. He wants a treat now. It's not for you. Okay, we'll put the chili and beans in there. Ouch. Ugh, I'm getting tired of opening cans. It's not for you. You know what, this, this beans are all gross. Like the liquid in there is like really gross. I'm gonna dump it a little bit. It's all gooey. And I guess we'll just put some of this pack in there. I don't know. I don't even know if this is enough liquid. You know what? I'm gonna put another. I'll put another can of tomatoes in there. On this. I hope this isn't gross. Well, I guess that's it. I don't know. I hope it's okay. No. It's not for you. It's mommy's. All right, so let's add some salt, some pepper, and some Cajun seasoning. Like I said, I'm just adding stuff. I'm not measuring anything. That's probably one tablespoon of salt. Just add some pepper. And then some Cajun, just because why not? So one thing I wanted to do before we start cooking, my cousin sent me this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and see what's in there. Super sweet, by the way, to send me this box, but I figured we open it on the channel. He lives in uh, Louisiana. Oh, risky. Pictures of his daughter, oh, she's so cute. Oh, Shiloh, you printed me out a vegan gumbo recipe. And a couple recipes, wow, that's awesome. Awesome, we got some new uh, recipes to try, guys. Oh, this box is loaded. Okay, oh my gosh, how freaking cute is that? Oh, wow, that's awesome. Look at the masks he made me. I would put one on, but I don't want to mess up my lipstick. These are freaking so adorable. Wow. Super talented. I wish I could freaking sew like that. That is awesome. Oh my God. I love these. Oh my gosh. <gasps> There's kitty cats in it. Oh, this is so cool. They also got me bowl covers, like little bowl things. For, oh my God. This is perfect for chili. Look at it, it says, eat what you saw with coat, and there's little kitties inside, Oh, I love it. And I know Della, I know his wife did these. Okay, Cajun seasoning, chicory coffee. I love coffee. Combo seasoning. Slap your mama, Cajun seasoning, yes. Stuff I can't get in Vegas. Slap your mama hot. Oh my gosh, that is the sweetest. Dang, cousin, you and your wife are the bomb. Damn, that's good. Creole seasoning. I don't know how to use Creole seasoning, but I'll look it up. Look at all this stuff. I can't believe how much stuff he sent me. That is so freaking thoughtful. Oh, another Creole seasoning. And then some more coffee. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the most awesome cousins. And I swear one day when me and my sister make it up there to go to Mardi Gras, we're going to come and hang out. Okay, you guys. So here's our chili. So we're going to go ahead and cook it up now and see how it tastes. See you in about five hours.
nothing. So. You look like a hippie. Look like a flower child. I am somewhat of a hippie. Um, we are doing crock pot chili. Crock pot? I haven't tried it either, so we're gonna try it together. We're doing crock. Now you got me saying crock pot. Crock pot. Crock pot. Crock pot chili. Crock pot. I made it myself. Yeah, that's why it's crock pot chili. Yeah. Prepared by a lunatic. Mm-hmm. I made it myself with no recipe, so we're gonna see how it tastes. Mm-hmm. It's only been in there for four hours, so I wanted to do it for like six hours. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. Let's try this here chili there. Come on. <laughs> Chop it up. I had one hell of a hard day at work today. Let's serve some of this chili up there. Come on. All right, I'm going to dish up the chili for me and Dave, and we're going to let you know what we think. Oh, should I put some vegan cheese shreds on there? Sure. Should I put some vegan sour cream? It's kind of runny. It's a little runny. Oh man. Looks like a soup. I've seen pictures of chili that look a lot better than this. It looks a little runny, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, but I didn't know what I was doing, so as far as like too much. <laughs> you can just go back and every time you say chili, you can just put pasta puzzle. I don't know what that means. I just bought new silverware and Dave thought it was appropriate to take like one of the brand new spoons to work that I never see again. Mm. Okay. It's more soup than chili. Yeah, I know. It needs it needed to probably cook longer to get rid of some of the liquid. It was very hot. I just spit it back in the bowl. <laughs> very, very hot. <laughs> Not hot enough to burn your mouth closed. What? Is that good? Am I humming? Dave says I hum when I eat, but I think he's lying. What? Nothing it's going. not me. It's it's uh, the cat's drinking water. <laughs> Great coronavirus all over my back. Won't have to do, do fifty cats running around the house. Here, anyway. let's hold our bowls up, and I'm gonna take. A, we're gonna like do a thing, so we can. I'm gonna screenshot it. Just hold your bowl up. We'll like go like this and look at each other and you take a bite. That's perfect. You be all smiling. I'm gonna just be me. Okay, hold your bowl up though. I don't need to hold it has bowl. to be a picture. You don't understand how this works for the thumbnail. Hold your bowl up to your face. Well, hell, that's some mighty fine down, rotten, rootin', tootin'. Skeet shooting, basketball hooping, bean tooting, <laughs> chili you done made right there, basketball man. Basketball hooping? <laughs> okay, so what do you think of that chili, babe? It's not bad. Oh, not bad? No, that's not bad. You like the chili soup? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I do have tortilla strips I could actually put in there. We can make it a chili soup. So, ratings. Consistency? I don't know. Flavor's good. Oh, but now we're rating on individual rankings of each meal now. We're ranking on consistency, smell, what, what else? Visual? Nothing, it's, it's a a 20 out of 10. Well, I'm just wondering what the ranking, you know. I was just speaking. Rules are. If anybody out there would like to come and do this every night that she does this. What's your ranking? Flavor's good. It's great that you know, I wonder what it'd be like to come home from work and like have a nice meal for you. Oh ready? my god, will you stop? Why is your plate on my side? What are you bringing up? My rating flavor is good. It's like an eight and a half on the flavor. Yeah, it's really good. Eight and a half? Yeah. Why are you saying on the flavor and you keep pushing it away from you? What does on the flavor mean? It's eight and a half on the It's supposed to be chili. It represents nothing chili-like substance that I've ever encountered. 
Yeah, I know. It's very soupy. I think in a couple more hours, it will okay, suck well, the liquid. Okay, well, then, you know, right now we'll call it soup. In four hours, maybe we'll call it chili. Okay, we're not going to do individual ratings. So what is your rating on the dish as a general whole rating? It's a two if it's chili. If it's just soup. How is it a two? It either tastes good or it doesn't. That's what I was trying to tell you. If this is chili. Yeah, it, but it doesn't suddenly taste like shit. This is chili. If this is chili, it's a two. That's if it's not soup, fair. it's an eight and a half. That's not fair. You can't rate it the same way you would rate something that you think is gross. You obviously don't think it's gross. But it's chili. But it doesn't matter. It's taste, too. It's not just like, oh, because it's a little runny, it's not chili. What is your rating? What's your rating, babe? No! Stop it! <laughs> God, I hate it when you do that. Probably just woke up all the neighbors. That's what woke them up. What is your rating? I'm hot. Seven. Oh, now it's gone down to a seven. Well, I have to split the difference and then add a few. <sighs> no, it tastes really good. It's just, it's not chili. So hot. It's not chili. All right, so Dave's reading this is seven. Um, Even though it mm -hmm. tastes really, really, really good. I'm going to rate it a seven, too, I think. <laughs> what? You bust my balls. No, for because 10 you minutes. started it with an eight and a half. Well, it tastes really good. Well, I don't, I mean, it's good, but it's like, I'm kind of disappointed with the consistency of it, but... Because it's... Now put it in a can. Sell this to Campbell's, then it'd be awesome soup. So it's a little bit runny, so I would suggest you guys... When a you sign make... of a good chili is when a spoon stands up in it. Okay. Two spoons? Maybe we can build a pyramid. Nope. Give me my spoon. I don't, I don't think, want your germs on my spoon. I don't spoon. think a glass will stand up in that chili. All right, smart ass. No, it's good though. All right, so. You get a 10 for the effort. I don't want your your effort trophy. Okay, so I'm going to rate this a seven as well. Like you guys, when you do this, I would recommend draining the beans and doing some black beans. So I would recommend doing some like black beans and draining the beans and then like have less liquid. You can't but, expect the city slicker to know how to make good homemade chili. Okay, so yeah, you guys, I would suggest taking out some of the liquid, like draining the beans and maybe adding some more black beans to it. But um, flavor wise, it's actually pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. I like came up with this on my own. I didn't know what I was doing. So um, no. stop it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe to me, you guys. Hit the circle of my face wherever I'm popping up on the screen. Also, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Appreciate your support. Thanks again for watching. <coughs> Thanks again for watching. I look forward to next time.